A federal appeals court has frozen parts of a Texas judge's order that would have suspended the FDA approval of a medication abortion drug. Under the new order, the approval will stay in effect and methotrexone will remain on the market while an expedited appeal plays out. A massive leak of U.S. government secrets has left White House officials scrambling to contain and to get to the bottom of a new Washington Post report. It alleges the leak came from a young man who worked on a military base. The bombshell report describing how he allegedly posted the sensitive national security documents to an online group of acquaintances united by their love of guns and God. Grocery prices fell in March, which is the first decline since September of 2020. That's according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. The data shows indexes for fish, eggs, and poultry fell 1.4% from February to March, and that fruits and vegetables prices also dipped slightly in that time frame. But bakery items, cereals, and non-alcoholic drinks were among the products that did become more expensive. Many Federal Reserve officials anticipate fewer interest rate hikes this year due to U.S. banking troubles triggered by the collapse of two major banks. Fed officials are worried banks will cut their lending and weaken the economy, which could cause a mild recession later this year. Meeting minutes also reveal uncertainty over the banking sector, helped the Fed decide to raise their benchmark rate just a quarter point last month. Several days of nonstop rain in South Florida, transforming roadways into rivers. Some areas yesterday saw more than a foot of rainfall in 24 hours, and it could be a while before things start to dry out. The Weather Prediction Center says strong to severe storms in the Texas area could be heading eastward today and tomorrow. Another legal settlement by Juul, the e-cigarette maker, will pay $462 million to six states in Washington, D.C. It is the largest agreement so far in a string of recent deals to settle lawsuits over Juul's marketing of addictive nicotine products. Under the deal, Juul cannot target anyone under age 35 in its ad campaigns. Amazon is taking new measures to try to get customers to return fewer of their online orders, and that includes charging a fee to return items to UPS stores. So Amazon will start charging customers a $1 fee if they return items to a UPS store when there is a Whole Foods, Amazon Fresh grocery store, or Kohl's store closer to their delivery address. Now returns at those locations will remain free. Delta Airlines reports their first quarter earnings today. It follows a drop in airline stocks yesterday after American Airlines posted a lackluster outlook. Analysts are cautioning investors about future slowdown in travel bookings, primarily domestic flights amid consumers' concern over inflation and the economy. For the first time in nearly two years, new cars in the U.S. are selling for less than the sticker price, about $48,000 less than last month, but nearly 4% higher than last year. Kelly Blue Book also reports buyers paid about $44,000 for new non-luxury cars like Chevys, Fords, and Hyundais, but luxury cars are still selling for more than the manufacturer's suggested retail price. And that's today's 9 at 9. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.